What's up everybody? Okay, we're gonna learn about basic retargeting uh, in this one. So we want to retarget animations onto our Genesis 9 characters. Uh, and you can see here there's a couple of uh, characters that are withering away each armies or whatever. So uh, let's just go ahead and, and, and check it out, okay? Uh, the first thing we go on to do, first thing we, we're going to do is once you've installed uh, Des to Genesis the bridge, uh, from Death to Genesis, obviously, before you send your character. Uh, this is in my last tutorial, I think. Yeah, it's in my last uh, tutorial of the bridge, how it works or whatever, so I'm not going to go over it again, but once you install it, the, the first thing you want to do is go into Settings and Project Settings, okay? And just scroll all the way down to Plugins over here and go to Daz and where is it? Daz to, what is it? Uh, Ari, this one. And you want to fix bone rotation on import and zero root rotation on import, okay? These two you want to make sure are on. Once you've done that and you've uh, used the DAS to whatever you've got your character. Um, and in my case, the character that I used is DAS to Unreal, Zombie 1, and I've got my character here, okay? So when I did the DAS bridge, I bought the right stray there, all right? So now we're going to retarget the easy way, all right, kids? So one important thing is if you click on your zombie or whatever and you click on your skeleton up here go into your skeleton tree and then on the right hand side you'll see uh, this little gear say show retargeting options and this will give you this okay now if i right click on the hip and say set translation to skeleton this top one here it'll set everything i need this this whole tree down to skeleton okay and that's fine you can save that and you're good to go. Once you've done that, we're good to go. You can save a, save your skeleton and get out of here. And what you want to do then is you want to go into uh, content and characters. And under there, you'll see animations. Okay, animations, and you'll get these two blueprints. What you can do if you're using a girl or a boy, it, it doesn't matter for Genesis Nine, I guess. But for a for a for Genesis 8, you can you can choose which which character you want. I'm gonna choose a guy here, uh, Manny. We can say retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget animation blueprint, right? You click that, and over here you can go to none, and you can just type in here G, and this will bring up Genesis G3 retargeter, G8.1 fixed rotation, all that kind of stuff, and there's all your Genesis retargeters. I'm gonna get G9 because we're dealing with the G9 character. And I'm just going to click here and type zombie, the name of my character, and there, she, there, there they are, whatever it is. And there we go. That's all we need to do. You can put a prefix, call it zombie anims or something, and you can put, uh, you can change where, where you want to save this. So all I'm going to do is put this into my characters. Uh, we can put it anywhere, in all honesty, anywhere, anywhere you want to, anywhere you want to. Um, let's put it, jeez, okay, let's just put in Daz, Daz Unreal, uh, let's put in animations, and that's fine, okay, retarget. So, there we go, Daz, animations, and now I get all my animations. Um, so, all the animations are kind of working, we're looking good, lovely, beautiful, incredible. Okay, right, so once we've got that happening, we do have all of our animations working, it's all fine, and that, that you could literally come in here and you could drag in your, your zombie, whatever, drag in your zombie, and take your thingamabobby here, your, where you had your animations, and you can just click over here, you can go into the details, if you don't know where details is, it's over here, edit a, a window, and you can go to your details, and just open up a details panel, and over here under uh, mesh, that's fine, but we don't want what do we like. Where's the animation? It should be up here somewhere. Let's have a look. Mesh transform animation. Okay, if you just click animation here, you see use animation blueprint. We want to click use animation asset, and you can literally just drag and drop a uh, thing above me there, and your animation is in there. Okay. So it's ready to use, and obviously that you can attach to a uh, sequencer, which we'll, we'll do now. Now, let's say you want a total different animation. Like, let's say uh, I've got cool animations, uh, let's say zombie animals. Uh, 
let's go down here zombie 01 right let's say i've got some really cool animations that i've i've got uh from from the marketplace or whatever and i want to use these kind of animations let's say i want to use this one boom and it falls over okay so i want to use that one all i got to do here is i got to right click it i got to say uh retarget animation asset duplicate and retarget animations bam then i've got this right i've got this i go here down to g9 once again retargeter i click out i click on it and i put on my zombie and just like that click the zombie just like you did before uh let's just put it in once again that's to unreal animations and that's fine and i'll call this zombo terrible i shouldn't do this but i'm gonna do it anyway and there's my zombo so now i can just drag and drop that zombo on here and you can see that uh there it is boom and they fall okay and it's on place it's on place all right so let's have a look at this in a better detail right so what you want to do that's how you retarget you can do that with as many animations as you want you're good to go okay so you pick an animation that you want um you pick an animation that you want whatever it is go to animations uh root motion yes let's go root motion and let's say i want uh okay that one <laughs> i'm gonna right click it i'm gonna say uh retarget animation asset duplicate and retarget I'm gonna just select the G9 here because we're dealing with G9. If you're dealing with G8, it's there. Good, all good. Put, oh, find a zombie here, mate. Find a zombie. Click on a zombie. Give it a prefix. Zambino run or something. Right, that's terrible. Don't do that. Do it properly. Okay, that's to Unreal. I'm gonna just put them in the animations. Say okay and say retarget okay so i'll put the prefix zombino i put i changed that to the animation daz unreal i got the g9 retargeter here because we're dealing with the g9 character and i'm going to say retarget and there it is mate it's all good there it is it's all good it's lovely right now we want to put in a sequencer right so what, what i'm going to do here uh you just got to create a sequencer right so i'm going to right click here can you see that on my page let's go right here right click and say uh animation uh, not not animation cinematics and level sequence okay so you'll click that and then you'll double click it okay but i'm not going to do that mate because i've made us well, i made a sequencer really all right already my sequencer is over here so all i've done is once i created the sequencer i dragged it and dropped it onto the stage all right so there's my sequencer all i did was drag it and drop it onto the stage all right mates then what i can do is i can click on the sequencer like this click on it double click on this little button here okay you'll get this all right and i've added a couple of things here already i've added a camera i've added lights i've added zombies we don't need a light in, in, in it uh and i've got i've got two zombies that i've already put in there right now let's add in the third one let's add in the third zombie here's the zombie that i've got right i want to add into the sequencer so select your zombie select your zombie or whatever character you want and say track so it's outlined say track actor to sequencer add zombie okay the very first one and the very first one bam now this zombie two is in there right now we want him to move are we want we want them to move are uh so basically right so we've got our character in the scene there they are beautiful all right and now we want to bring in an animation now under it it says animation animation right or if we don't see that animation let's say that animation is not there and we've got our zombie all you got to do is say track animation and you can we can pick one that we wanted right what do we call this some what do we call it what do we call it yeah. okay we called it uh zambino run okay <laughs> so track animation zambino run there it is okay and there it is so there's our track right there so if we play it you can see that he's running he's running mate He's running 
but now he's not in the right way is he so all we got to do is go to transform here and you can rotate it all right not that way not that way right that way just a little bit like this or something and you can just click on him and you can reposition him it's it's fine there's no keyframes here whatever so we can just reposition him and stuff now if i hit play he runs okay so that's a very simple way let me just uh, clean this up here in the, in the out so you can just see it running right and that's it we can loop it <laughs> this guy's all the way up there for some reason don't know why so we can click on him he's also in here as you can see and we'll just position him where we want him okay something like that something like that or I don't know really right so now if I go to my camera I can go to my camera and ugh, he's all the way down there okay and we've got this little guy <laughs> We got this dude running somewhere. Holy shit, did you see it? Uh, where is he? There. Okay, so let's put him somewhere down here. Now remember, if you keyframe it in the sequencer, he's just going to snap back. So I'm not keyframing any transforms here because uh, I don't need to. If you want to, you can, obviously, but just remember that if you if you do that, they're going to uh, snap back and what, what not. So... Uh, now we should have this guy running we should have this guy going crazy and there it is and that is how you retarget uh, animations if you have any animations that stuck to the unreal skeleton which is the same as the unreal skeleton it'll always tell you uh, fit for unreal skeleton you can use all of these animations for your Genesis characters and this is probably the majority of them also Maximo if you export animations out of Maximo, you can do that. It's totally fine. It all works. Uh, so you you get to go really. Um, you can always export for the 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 rig for Unreal, the the Unreal skeleton. So if it's for the Unreal skeleton, this is a, just a really basic, lovely way of just putting these together, and it's so damn easy, man. And you can get some cool stuff going on. Okay. And that's it. Uh, one last thing, I guess. Uh, so remember all you're doing is you're dragging in a character uh, where's the bloody where's the bloody where's the bloody bastard yeah I mean you could just drag right from here you can drag right from here bam and you've got your skeleton in there attached with the animation everything but if you want to put it into a sequencer obviously add this little fella and then add the animation okay add the animation that you want crawling and then you're good to go so that is in you can see here it'll kick in over there remember wherever your timeline is is when it brings in the animation so it'll kick in now okay it was just a, a, a frame that okay so remember you can move your animations you can move them you can do whatever you want with them uh, so you can move them around what timeline you can stretch them so they loop and repeat you can do whatever you want love whatever you want all right anyway i hope that retargeting helps uh it's pretty straightforward very easy to do and uh i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for joining me guys have a good weekend bye guys